Hi guys, welcome back to A Case of Econ Struggles. Today I'm going to talk about the difference between ordinary and Giffen goods and how to tell whether a good is ordinary or Giffen. This is going to relate to price offer curves, which we've covered in a previous video. So if you would like to get a refresher on the price offer curve, feel free to check out that video. But ordinary and Giffen goods are going to relate to how the quantity of that good relates to price. So ordinary good, I like to think of ordinary as, well, it's just ordinary. It satisfies the law of demand, which means as the price of the good goes up, the quantity that I buy of that good goes down. Giffen goods are the opposite. Giffen goods say that as the price of something goes up, the quantity will also go up. This is thought of as a super ultra inferior good. This is more of a theoretical good than something that actually exists in the world. So if I draw price offer curves for an ordinary good, it's going to be downward sloping because as the price goes up, quantity goes down. For a Giffen good, it's the opposite. So it's going to be upward sloping, which means that this price goes up, quantity also goes up. Something really important to note about both ordinary and Giffen goods is that they do not relate to wealth. So ordinary and Giffen goods are related to how quantity changes with respect to price. Ordinary and Giffen goods do not relate the amount of quantity that's bought to the amount of wealth or income that you have. Those are normal and inferior goods and we'll cover those in a separate video. But hopefully this gives you a little better idea of the difference between ordinary and Giffen goods and how to tell whether a good is ordinary or Giffen. If it did, make sure to like and subscribe and we will see you next time for another case of econ struggles.